All right, what is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to the Wi-Fi Battle versus Bay from the Discord. Now, this game might actually be a bit troublesome for me because he has three mods that are immune to well, electric type moves. Most, you know, unrivaled is very hard to deal with head on. It starts up with Ma. I was gonna say Ma Shadow. That that's a swamp. It. Um. All right. I don't know, do I want to like gauge it to try to chip it down? I think so. Bit scared about the ice beam, but that's about it. Let's see. That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Damn it. So stealth frogs are on the field and we see leftovers, so it's a slow kill to say the least. The thing is I firmly believe that um, in theory that Ryoko comes in which is something I don't want to like deal with head on sitting in Helios just for gauging purposes is, is that the word? no <laughs> gauging purposes but basically if Ryoko comes in they can kind of deal with it if Swampert comes in probably gonna go for an earthquake here or rock slide ah that would have been annoying Unfortunately for me, I'm really offensive. Leftovers with offensive measures, so it's not a natural development. But I happily I go for a hydro pump here. Could fear like the Breloom coming in, but at the same time, Breloom is not that defensively scary, so I shouldn't be too worried. That's right, we see Rock Slide, Self Rock Protect. So he either has Earthquake or or waterfall, right? One of those. Hmm. That means the can or the swamp it isn't that scary. Or it's decisively debatable, but oh come on! Can't miss hydro from that ain't right. <laughs> Here I am, like, yeah, no problem. He can stall out my freaking PPs if you want to. Time to make progress, mate. Who misses a hydro pump anyway? Like that's what you get. Alright. Goes into Kangaskhan, that's fine by me. It really isn't, it's a very scary mon. At least we connect to Hydro Pump, that's great. But Kangaskhan is fat though. It is really fat. Alright, fake out, fake out. That seems to be Silk Scarf, right? It's gotta be it. Do I even want to, like, take that gamble? Yes, I do. At least it's adamant, so we'll get it paralyzed. <laughs> Small victories. Oh, big victories, really. <laughs> yes. Great. Yellow magic. Uh, not gonna try to abuse that. More than rapid spin, right? That's that's the goal. I think double edge will do a whole lot of damage, and if that's facade, then I'm kind of screwed. <sighs> oh, that sucks, though. That ain't right. Right, rapid spin. Is like that that ain't right? While I always, like, I don't, I like that the opponents get hacks and I get some type of favor. But at the same time, I don't believe, it, like, it's fair when I feel I get a, like, a massive advantage by default. Um, here's the thing though, Raikou will carry Scald or Shadow Ball. 
it is whether or not an earth power or a, if I am speeding would be some nice damage if I did oh coal mine and it outspeeds worst of two worlds really um, how much will an earth power do anyway oh and I got sugar berry a lot of things they didn't want to see Um, yeah, a lot of things I didn't want to see there. Alright. Shadow Ball, that's gonna sting. I should take it though, but it's still gonna hurt. And this time, however, the Urpar will do a whole lot more. I said it like it was going to be significantly more. Oh, but there is a special defense decrease. That I can deal with. I mean, I can't abuse it at all. To my... To my... <laughs> it's really in theory. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's going to keep going for Shadow Ball though, right? Let's see. Let's make some weird plays. Jason, let's do this. Yeah, I'm immune, buddy. Not that it helps. Why am I not sturdy? Thunderbolt is going to do a mother truck of damage. Scald? He had Scald too. That's actually kind of bad. Don't get him burned. Great. Oh, it's close. It is darn close. Um, he has to go for Thunderbolt here. A lot of switch games for me, I know it's not pretty. He should keep scalding though. Or Thunderbolt, I'll take it. Stealth Rock and Off Chance. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Urshin. Like, the only benefit that got now is to, like, quick attack. That's gonna be my play. And it's gonna feel a bit silly. <laughs> Come on. Did he have a spinner? I can't remember. Thank, thank God I had some top priority. Like, <laughs> really, that didn't did that did not go well with me at all. Um, sends in right in the king. Got very few options left on a Nido too, really. Alright, let's see what I can do. On the off chance of an earth power, I think Sludge Wave is just as good as a play here. Yeah. That's gonna take a Roll Charm. Nothing to it. Let's hope Jason can do something. We got Glare, and that should be um, a maybe at best. Go through Sludge Wave. Please survive this. Nope. Nope. Is it Scarfed? Who knows? Who cares? If it's Scarfed, then I can do something. But if not, then I'm screwed. Let's find out. Let's find out the hard way. I think I pretty much lost to the Nether King, which definitely sucks. But I, also at the same time, like I said, the ground types of these team really just made it... I shouldn't say impossible, but a lot harder. 
I like that they both had type, the same type of movement, really. They were getting a bit more speedier, I guess, but that's about it. Right, switches out, goes into the Kangas gone, alright. That's fair by me. I don't like this one bit. Oh, what, what is that gonna to achieve? <laughs> no sucker punch for you. That Kangas gone really didn't get to do anything. <laughs> I feel so bad for it. <laughs> I really do. But yeah, if the Nidoking is scarfed, I don't believe there's anything I can do to stop it. Freaking Breloom, man. At least there's no way Sporing is going to absolutely go for um, a Mag Punch. Or uh, I know I would. There goes a Rock Tomb, I mean more power than my opponents. Spool? Why? Isn't that like super risky? I guess we're no downplay to it. Withdraws, that's fair. Two. Nino King is back. <sighs> it all depends. It all depends. It should be life orb though, right? Ice Beam might be a good middle middle ground play. Oh, good play. Good play. Good play indeed. Good play indeed. So that means I got nothing left anyway. Good play. Good play. And here's where we find out whether or not it's uh, scarfed, I think. Never was, but still out speed, so my opponent absolutely won. GG, GG. I mean, what else can I say? My, my team idea is to, you know, abuse the yellow magic and get things crippled. Well, Kangaskhan got the, um, the worst of that. I, at the same time, um, didn't really have what it took to um, to beat like three miles immune to electric because all of a sudden my team was really too slow to really do something about it. And Nido King, I mean, in the right environment or environments such as this, I mean, it does phenomenally. So more power to my opponent. Very, very well done. And for everyone watching, I hope you enjoyed this game anyway. Though it was a bit of a one side of note, once I didn't beat Nino King, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. So, with that said, take care everyone, I'll see you next video.